Well, hello there, and welcome to, um, another roguelike. This is not going to be a full-time playlist, not yet, anyways. Uh, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> like most roguelikes I've played, you may have noticed this. I've never ascended or beat any roguelikes that I've ever played. Um, but this one is, I believe it's a fairly old one. It is called Sill, and it is based on, um, J.R.R. Tolkien's work. It's, um... I forgot exactly what it's called, the Silmaril, or something like that. I don't exactly remember the correct word. But anyways, it's based on the lore of the worlds he created, and um, it is quite interesting. I like the Windows setup, the way this is all set up. It's based on Angband. Um, well, it's built off of the bones of Angband, if I was reading correctly, but apparently it's been changed so much that Angband players wouldn't really recognize all of this. But, um, yeah, this is, um, Sill. The world was young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon was seen. And the goal of our character in this game is to make our way down to the depths of this hellish catacomb nightmare and pluck a Silmaril, again, I think that's what it's called, uh, from the crown of Morgoth. And then I assume the game will also want us to make our way back out. That's not going to happen in any of these videos. You're free to download the game. I'll post a link in the description. And you yourself can hopefully be brave enough and awesome enough to go pluck that gem from the crown. But I most certainly will not be. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and create a new character. I've only done, I think, one or two characters on this game. Um, so I haven't, again, I haven't played it that much. There are three different races and houses, I guess, that you can be. You got the Noldor, the Deep Elves, the Sindar, or the Grey Elves. We're just going to ignore both of them. The Nalgrim are dwarves, and the Edain are the men, the humans of Beleriand. And we're going to be uh, of the Nalgrim. We're going to be one of the dwarves. So let's choose them. And this is where we can choose our houses. We can be a house of Nograd. And uh, you can see they all have their own little benefits and skills and buffs and whatever. We are going to be of Belagost, from the Great Fortress. It is a dwarven citadel in the northern ranges of the Blue Mountains. Its stout warriors are legendary for their strength and for the fearsome iron masks they wear to battle. Actually, let's see, they have axe proficiency. That's good. Will and smithing. So Nograd are smithing masters, but they don't have an affinity to Will. And that's really it. Yeah, we'll be Belagost. On this screen, um, you get 13 points to dispense over here for your strength, dexterity, constitution, and, um, yeah. Gra? Is that Grace? I don't really know. So, what I want to do with this character is... We're going to bump our constitution up to 5, our strength up to 6, put 1 point into dexterity, and as you can see, the gray here, gra, I, I don't know what it is, grace, maybe, that gives you bonuses to perception, will, smithing, and song. We're going to bump that up to 3. And then we have 5,000 points left to spend right here on our skills. I'm going to take my melee way up. Maybe not that high. There we go. I don't need any archery. Evasion. I'm a dwarf. Um, I'm not really going to put a whole bunch of points into that. Perception. I'll bump up a bit. We'll take that to six. Will. Up to six. I don't know anything about smithing. I haven't actually made it that far. And I don't know much about songs because I've never actually survived long enough to learn any songs to sing. Um, so I'm just going to put 300 points on that, and I guess, take melee up to 800, and with my final 200 points, I'll put 100 into evasion, and then 100 into stealth, why not? Okay, we can be female or male, of course we'll be a male, not much difference between male and female dwarves. And um, you can re-roll a history randomly, I'm just going to hold down the random button, take a drink of tea. And this is our history right here. 
we are one of two children of a dwarven smith we are the black sheep of the family we have dark brown eyes straight black hair a two foot long beard and a dark complexion not bad the longest beard i've seen and I, I on my first character i tried to get the longest beard i could i had a three foot beard oh yeah on this screen on this next uh, little option you get to choose your age your height and your weight we're just going to let it go random here for a moment and we're 144 years old four foot tall four inches and we weigh 148 pounds stones whatever there we go and our name will just be sergi into the vast and echoing gloom more dread than many tunneled tomb down awful corridors that wind down to a menace dark enshrined down to the mountain's roots profound devoured tormented bored and ground by seething vermin spawned of stone down to the depths he went alone because we are absolutely insane and here we are this is us little at symbol and um this tells us how deep we are i was reading the instruction manual and it says that the bottom of this catacomb place is at a thousand feet so needless to say i will not be making it there we start with basically nothing we have a wooden torch five pieces of dark bread and three backup torches and that is it and we have to find everything else let's see we have a door there a bronze amulet a curved sword we better take that and um, let's wield it. There we go. So we equip the curved sword. It's a 2d5 minus 1. Not the best thing. Might as well wear the amulet. What what could possibly go wrong with putting on random items that we run across? Okay. First things first, we got to find some more gear. What is this? A dagger? That's 1d5. Nah. It might actually be better, but I don't know. What do we have here? Um, we see a giant bat. Down here is the recall menu. It'll show tons of text. I don't know how much of this will actually be legible once YouTube is done destroying the uh, video after I upload it. YouTube loves to randomly resize things, and that can really wreak havoc on... Um, small text like this but this creature is normally found at depths of 100 feet moves very quickly it is unintelligent nothing is known about its attack encountering another would be worth 10 experience killing one would be worth 20 and um we've encountered one of them we're gonna see if we can kill it there we go we hit the giant bat and slay it we got a good roll there for 19 damage and what is that a white worm mass Okay, it's resistant to critical hits. It is mindless. I think we might make our way over to it here in a second. Let's see. Leather armor. Another curved sword. Let's wear the leather armor. Again, what could go wrong with it? I want to try to kill the worms here. We swing and miss and finally drive our dagger into the mass. The survivors to scatter and burrow into the ground. A yellow potion. Yum. Save that for a rainy day. And another white, couple white worm masses. I might as well kill these things while I can. Because they seem to be fairly easy and um, any experience I can get will be great. 48 arrows. I'm not going to bother picking them up. I don't plan to do any archery at all. An orc soldier. This creature is normally found at depths of 150 feet. He usually appears in groups. Hmm. Yep, there's two of them. Let's just go... Can I stealth? Yes. I think I might be being chased. The orc soldier shouts a warning. Yeah, pretty sure they're chasing me. Let's just, um... Get out of here for now. They're not going to let me go, are they? I'm going to end up getting myself into a lot of trouble. And what are these? There's wolves sleeping through here. Okay. So we're, this is where we pretty much die. The orc, orc soldier hits us. We swing at him and hit him. He shouts for help. 
and the wolf wakes up. Two more orcs appear behind him. Oh, goody. A white worm mass notices us. And yes, this is pretty much my experience with roguelikes of this nature. Inevitably, I will get into a fight with something that I cannot kill, and not only will I not be able to kill it, but there will be multiple versions of it, and I will inevitably become surrounded and brutalized by everything. So, it always turns out to either be... There, there's two ways that I normally do somewhat decent in roguelikes like this. Either I get incredibly lucky and stumble across some amazing gear early on, and if I don't do that, I die. That's really it. I have to get extremely lucky with gear. Okay. So the wolf bites us. We just start flailing our arms around. Blah, 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 blah. We're dead. <laughs> there was no getting out of that. Good lord. We had six wolves there. At least three orcs. Not very good. Yeah. You can tell my first character yesterday. Slain by a wolf. Got overwhelmed. Um... See, is there any way that I can actually save this character? I don't think there is. Another thing I hate about these games like this is that once you die, you have to recreate your character. I always think in roguelikes like this, you should be able to save the, or at least reuse the last character that you um, created. Dungeons of Dreadmore has that option, and I end up having to use it a lot because I die all the fucking time. Okay, strength... I'm going to put a bunch of points into that. Let's see. Strength, all the way up to 6. Dexterity, that's for combat. Let's take that up to 6. And um, Constitution, up to 4. No Grace this time. Melee, I want to bump that way up again. Evasion, put some points into that. Take that up to 6. I don't really know... Here, take Willpower up to 6. And Perception and Song. There we go. We'll be a male... Our history, only child, black sheep, brown eyes, brown hair, two-foot beard, dark complexion, and we're 162 years old. Great, we're an old man, and we're Sergi again. And oh yes, we're back. Another lovely curved sword. There we go. Give me like a magical curved sword, or something better than a curved sword. That would be great. Gray mold. I don't normally mess with mold because they have really weird attacks. There is a wall in the way. Great. Hello, wolf. We hit the wolf. It flees in terror as we notch a gash in its leg. Finally driving the dagger or our curved sword into its spine, it stops twitching and dies right there. Anybody else? Yes. A very long hallway filled with wolves. Okay, can I rest? Yeah. Let's just rest here. Oh, goody! And... What is that? Orcs? Yeah, an orc scout. Let's try to kill him. He's yelling for help. He's gonna go get help. He's gonna get me killed. We kill the orc scout by driving our dagger through his belly. Or our curved sword. So what is this? Another dagger? No. I need armor. Give me some armor, a shield. I am an absolutely stupid dwarf for charging into this place with no gear. Okay, so what do we got? We got stairs down there. No, that's an up staircase. Would I actually be able to leave the dungeon? You enter a maze of up staircases but cannot find our way. And we emerge near where we began. Okay, hey, at least we got some leather armor out of this. Not bad. What is that? Yeah, a white worm mess. Let's kill it. Blah, 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 blah. A death to all worms. Hello. I am just a lost dwarf. I am looking for the library. I have books to return. Is anyone... What is this? Ah, the broken sword. That's right. I think I already looked at that. Another worm mass. Another giant bat. Have at you, bat! We cut it in twain. Ooh, a set of gloves. Put those on. I don't know if they actually did any good. Charge! Yeah, gray mold. Mm, kind of dangerous. 
they do this little dust attack, and I don't know if it has any long-term um, side effects or not. They could be completely harmless. I don't know. What do we got here? Another set of gloves. I don't think I can wear two sets. A brass lantern. I'll take that. I don't know um, what really happens if our torches or light source runs out. I'm going to assume that we won't be able to see absolutely anything. How do I bash? Is there a way to bash? I gotta check something. Sing. I don't know all the controls yet, so bear with me. Items, blades, use, drop, throw, destroy. So K is for destroy. Get where? Close. Bash door. There we go. We slam into the door and it crashes open. White worm mass and at least one wolf. Yeah, the wolf notices me. Here they come. We dive onto the wolf, snapping its neck plowing through it and right on to the next one we nick it with our sword and it takes off running come back here coward I will kill all of the wolves in this land and all of the worm masses too and I've been poisoned I don't think that's a good thing so am I still poisoned no I was kinda of worried that I would lose all my health there I have no antidote. The brown mold releases a cloud of spores. We hold our breath and continue to try to kill the thing. We finally do it. Let's just back up and heal here. One good thing that I've noticed, there well, it's not I guess necessarily a good thing, but there is um no food. No food and drink, so that's one less thing you have to worry about. And for some reason, a forge with three uses remaining. I don't know what that does. A spear, a trap. For some reason my torch in here does not work very well. Okay, so how do I how do I use how do I use this? I have to go back to this. Let's see. Wait a turn. I don't... Okay, U is for use. I don't know... Um, maybe that's not how it's going to work. It is hard and bitter. Oh, so... Okay, I got it. Never mind. That's not how you use... Um, items on the ground like that. Write a note. Quaff a potion. Forge an item is zero. Or O. Interesting... There is nothing in your square. Is it zero? Exploration mode. Smithing requires a forge. Choose an item that should be created. So we can choose a base item. We can enchant an item. We can design an artifact. Change the item's key numbers. Choose a mithril item to melt. Surely not. I don't have... Okay, so I can't use that at all. I don't have the... Uh, the items for it. Try to make a mental note. Even though there's no map. I just realized this. There's no map anywhere. should probably bust out my graph paper, but uh, I will never find that forge again. Just so you know. We bash through that door. Narrowly avoid a trap there. And what do we got? A dagger. I've seen more than enough of those. Hello, wolf. We slam into that wolf. They're just all apparently sleeping in that hallway there. Oh, wait. This says fool. I don't know why I said there was no food and drink, because there is. I'm an idiot. That's why we have dark bread. Sometimes I say things, and I apparently don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Go figure. <laughs> that That's probably a complete and total surprise to some of you out there. Okay. 50 feet. One of these days, we will descend further into the darkness. And there's a ton of wolves here. Can I go down? We enter a maze of down staircases. We're now at a hundred feet deep. We are, we are a tenth of the way to the bottom. We see a filthy rag, and... No, I did not want to do that. I pressed L to look around and not to move. Yes, we are so dead. 
So this is where we die, a hundred feet deep. The wolves begin to pile through the doorway. Well, orcs, are you going to come after me or not? They might be too scared, honestly. The orc soldier misses me? No. I think that they're actually smart enough that they know they're going to be killed if they try to come through here. Okay, what happens if I close this? There we go. We surprise him. We hit the orc soldier and he hits us. It glances off of our leather armor. Oh, goody. And he hits us extremely hard. I'm guessing that he's not that hurt. He's fairly confident. He was one of Morgoth's Mor 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 grim mockeries of the firstborn. He wears black leathers with a crude sword and shield. We miss him. We hear a low howl somewhere. Um, let's see if I can just run up the stairs. We enter a maze of staircases to our safety. Maybe. Oh, goody. They can follow me. I was not counting on that. We missed the orc scout. Come here, you scouting bastard. We corner him and slam his face into the wall. And without missing a beat, we get cornered by a blocked door. A small steel chest. A giant bat notices us and comes screeching at us. We drive our dagger into its heart. Come on, open up. What if I bash the chest? I need a lockpick. Okay, well that chest is hopeless. I can't bash it. And I can't lockpick it. And thankfully, amazingly enough, um, those orcs did not follow me. Yeah, let's just kind of secure this room a bit, because I need to sit here and heal. Uh, by the way, all the music in this video is by Ico. Um, I will provide a link to her channel as well in the description. Okay. Hello, bat. We sneak up on it and bite its head off, throwing its used carcass to the floor. And then we slaughter a wolf there. You know, one thing I really need to check out here... How do I level up? That would be extremely useful to know. I'm almost positive. Eat food, play instrument. I don't have an instrument. Tunnel, forge... Blah, blah, blah. There has to be a way to level up. If I was smart, I would have went through the tutorial before this. Okay, tab is for abilities. So, tab and at. Song. Causes fear in nearby servants of Morgoth. The Song of Elbereth. I have one skill point to hand out, so I could learn it. It also takes 500 experience. I have 501. Okay, these are those smithing skills. Okay, I got it. So I would need two skill points in that to learn it. Channeling. Gives you a bonus of plus five. Curse breaking. Interesting. Perception. Gives you a bonus of plus five for finding traps, secret doors, evasion and stealth skills. Blocking. Doubles the protection roll for your shield against all ranged attacks. And against melee as well if you waited last turn. Not worth it. Power gives a bonus of plus one damage sides to your melee attacks, but makes it harder to score critical hits. Lowers the base number for critical hits, plus five to throwing, plus one to attack. When you attack an opponent immediately after moving towards it, your attack is calculated as if you had three points more strength and dexterity. I think I'm going to learn a song here. Yes, the Song of Elbereth. Which means I can start singing it now once I'm surrounded by those orc bastards, and maybe they'll run away. Die, door! Taste boot! Okay, mold. I don't think that they count. Yeah, see, look at how quickly that damn thing drained my health. That, uh, I need like a breath mask or something, a gas mask when I'm dealing with them. I'm gonna get the black lung. I'm dying here. Back 
back to 50 feet. Die, bat. Oh, hello. Was that a scout? Yeah. The scout yells for help. We hold him up against the wall by his throat and drive our sword deep into his belly as we grin. Get out of my way, door. I have circles to walk in. And, um... Honestly, I think that this level has pretty much been tapped out now. So, no down staircase. I do not want to go back up. Going up is not an option. Which means I'm going to be kind of suicidal. I'll check out this stairwell again. There was an orc over here. Where did he go? I'm sure that they're still waiting for me at the bottom of that stairwell. The giant bat latches onto us and sucks a bit of blood. I see, whenever a bat is even doing, you know, taking half my life in combat, that's when, you know, I am not going to survive very long. I need mithril mail or something. Come on, I'm the son of a smith and I didn't even set off with any gear. Oh, come here, scout. We drive our dagger into the back of that scout a couple times as he runs away. Finally, we corner him and throw his body down the stairs. Actually, we jump on his body and ride it down the stairs. And there's nobody waiting for us. We used him like a boogie board. Just a bunch of wolves here. Knock, knock. Plump's here, and it's time for you to die. And, what is that, another scout? No, that's a soldier. Great. Okay, let's sing a song. What do I have? Um, sing which song? I think S.A. We begin to sing a song to the Queen of the Stars. The orc soldier misses us. We hit him for 11 damage, almost knocking him off his feet. And as he covers his ears due to our singing, he drops to the ground and we behead the bastard. Okay. Um, how do I stop singing now? That would be good to know. Uh, S. S is for singing. I did get that. Quaff potions, set macros. Um, okay, so just S. S. We'll stop singing. 71 arrows and two wolves try to corner us. We kill one of them, and the other one starts running away. As I see two orcs burst up the stairway or something like that. A group of enemies comes up the stairs, yes. Ah, fuck me. There's a whole bunch of wolves in that room over there. Okay, we begin to sing a song here. The orc soldier misses us. We get a face full of spores, and we run down the stairs. Let's not hesitate. Close the door. <sighs> Just sit here and wait for a moment. This character is doing better than I thought it would. We're still going to die. Very quickly. What do we got here? What is that? A white wolf. Wonderful. This creature is normally found at depths of 200 feet and moves quickly. It is going to destroy me. Ooh, a helm. And a murky brown potion. And the white wolf comes after us. We miss it. And, oh goody. I am going to die here. Anybody want to come? Come do battle with me. We have slain the wolf as we drive our sword into its heart. The other one takes off. Running. And... Oh, why, what is going on? Die, you bastard. We slay that wolf, and I'm gonna die to a bat, aren't I? Ho oh. ho ho. No, I don't want to escape. I want to close the doors. I need that helm. Very badly. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. One of our torches is about to burn out here. Oh, the orc soldier notices us. And Gorgol the Butcher hits us. Okay, so this is where I die. What if I drink... Um, no, uh, what if I... 
drink the murky brown potion. It burns our mouth and throat. We have been stunned, but we feel much better. And, um, it was orcish liquor is what it was. Okay, so before I die here, we've got Gorgol the Butcher, another orc soldier, and another orc soldier. I can't run. There's no sprinting. And we're getting nicked from behind. We run back up the stairs. Look, folks, when in doubt, just run. Uh, close the door. I'm not going to die and give up this easily. The light from our torch is slowly starting to flicker and burn out. And it is out. Okay. So, we combine our torches and light it, and there we go. We're back in action. I'm not going down the stairs. Three orcs sleeping over there. A short sword. 1d7. Hmm. The question is, would that be better than 2d5? I think it would be. So, let's equip it. There we go. Yes, I know. And let's drop it. The Yeah, drop the, so, the curved sword. Okay, maybe those orcs won't see me. Start stealthing. It's, uh, we hear a shout for help. More shouts for help. And um, I don't think they're falling for my stealth. There's two, three scouts there. I'm going to... I'm going to corner myself some scouts here in a minute and kill them if they don't stop this. Okay, the orc soldier hits us. We're surrounded. What do we got? Orc soldier, orc soldier. Three orc soldiers. I cannot fight that many orc soldiers. Oh, I'm dead. Um, there's the scout. There's a soldier. Um, what happened? Yeah, low hit point one. I killed a scout. I try to barrel through the other scout and kill him. We get hit down to... Uh, and we're cornered and blocked by that last third scout that I'm not going to be able to get through. And as we try to kill the scout, we get hit from behind by the orc soldier and are brutally murderized. So yes, this is my experience with roguelikes like this. Constant back and forth running around. Um, I'm probably going to do a few more videos of this. I think I'll end this session here, though, and uh, upload this. See how it all looks on YouTube, because, again, I'm not sure how legible uh, all of this is going to turn out to be. The combat rolls here, I don't know how legible or important that will be. But uh, anyways, there you go. This is the game, the roguelike Sill, and I will have the link and everything in the description for you. Sill Maril. That's what we're supposed to do. A thousand meters or feet below the surface good fucking luck